everybody and welcome to a Gacha Life mini movie called My Drawing Came to Life. This one is by the amazing Rosie Glozy and I'm really excited for this one. Guys, if you are to remember to hit the like button, there will also be a link to the original in the description. So do make sure to go over there afterwards and show some love. And now let's get into the Gacha. Okay, we've got this girl and she's doing some schoolwork. For as long as I can remember, I love to draw. My father was an artist and from a young age, I would sit with him and imitate him, hoping that one day I could be as great as him. In school, all I do is draw, or at least doodle. Mrs. Paper and Mr. Pen are my friends, my only friends. As you can tell, I'm a loner. I don't really fit in with my classmates. They're extremely outgoing and I'm shy. Today I turned 15. Not that anybody here seems to know that, but that's okay because I can enjoy it alone with Haru. Oh my goodness, she's really good at drawing. Look at that boy. That is a perfect drawing of a Gatch Life character. There she is, the birthday girl. Look who came to visit. Grandma! Happy birthday, pumpkin. I have a small gift for you. Thanks, Gran. Ooh. Girl, that is the biggest pencil I think I've ever laid my eyes upon. On. It's a pencil. It's not just any pencil. It's a magical pencil. Mom, she's not 10 anymore. She won't believe in magic. Oh, hush, Andrew. This pencil is special. How so? Well, the man in the shop said that when you're feeling lonely, this pencil will bring your drawings to life and keep you company. Okay, Grandma. I've prepared a small buffet in the kitchen. Let's all go and eat. Bye, Grandma. So, did your classmates wish you a happy birthday? Dad, my classmates don't know I I exist. Why didn't you do what I told you yesterday? You should have gone to the front of the class and told them. Darling, she- I don't care. I don't want anyone to know. So you want to be friendless for another year. I don't need friends. Leave me alone. I feel so bad for this girl. She's super upset and lonely. Nobody seems to understand. Not even her own parents. Why won't my dad just leave me alone? I can't help that I'm shy. I'm okay being alone. I want to be alone. Things would be so different if you were alive, Haruki. I wouldn't need anybody else. I didn't mean to raise my voice. I'm only concerned about her. I know, but you can't force her out of her comfort zone. Life is confusing for a teenager, but she can manage it on her own. It's been a long day. Let's go to bed. You can talk to her in the morning, yeah? Yeah. Why does the bed feel so cramped? Wait a second, who is that boy? There's a boy in her bed. Like seriously, right there. A real life boy. Ah! Hey, shut up. What do you want with me? It's me, Haruki. Haruki? Haruki? What? Please don't say anything. Jessica, what's wrong? Uh, I... Sorry, um, my alarm clock, it frightened me. Your alarm clock frightened you? Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to scream so loud. Well, as long as you're okay, we'll have breakfast ready soon. How did she get away with that obvious lie? Her alarm clock frightened her, really? That's all she could come up with. Are they gone? Uh, you can come out. Wow, you look exactly like Haruki. I don't understand English, idiot. Oh, you speak Japanese. Are you really Haruki? What are you saying? Just make me speak English already. What are you saying? Because she's drawn him and drawn him as a Japanese boy, he can only understand Japanese. So he's gone and grabbed the pencil so she can change it. Here. But how can she edit him if he already exists? Write down Haruki can speak English. Huh? English. Oh, English. Okay, here she goes. She's just writing it down. Finally! Why did you only make me speak Japanese? You don't even speak it. Girl is so flustered. She does not know how to respond. And to be honest, I don't blame her. It's not very often that a character you've drawn comes to life now, is it? No. Don't freak out, okay? I know this is weird, but I'm your OC. You drew me last night, right? Because of that, I'm alive. But how? The pencil, it's magic. I felt myself come to life as you sketched me. And I woke up next to you where you left your sketchbook. Uh, are you okay? This can't be real. I'm dreaming. Hello? Can I hug you? What? Sorry, I've just always wanted to be able to hug you. And now you're before my eyes, and I don't want to wake up from this dream. Oh, look at them! I know he's just a drawing and he's not real, but don't they make a cute couple? Wow, you feel so real. This dream is so realistic. That's because it isn't a dream. Ow! You're... 
really real? I'm really real. Whoa, whoa, don't cry. My wish came true. Jess, you'll be late for school. Come and eat your breakfast. Uh, okay, mom. I have to get ready for school. But what will you do? Can't let my mom and dad see you. I could sneak out the bedroom window and come to school with you. Come to school with me? But you don't even go there. I can enroll. Look, I need to get ready. I'm getting changed in the bathroom and having breakfast quickly. We'll talk about this situation later. Eh? Where's he gone? Oh, I was going crazy. Of course he wasn't real. Okay, time for school. And it would shock me if somehow he appeared at the school. Why is this guy running? What's wrong with him? Yo, Mr. B! You won't believe what happened to me this morning. So, I have my maths homework all finished and in my bag. And then this humongous duck came up to me and stole my backpack. Mm-hmm. And what's tomorrow's excuse? You accidentally fed it to the ducks in the park? I'm telling the truth man. Come on. Sit down, Mr. Austin. Ahem. Class, we have an exchange student who will be staying with us for a week. Oh my goodness, it's actually him. He came to the school. Haruki? Hi, my name's Haruki. I like takoyaki in the color red. Nice to meet you. He's cute. What a weird introduction. Wow, I wrote those facts about him in the column of the sketch page. So everything I write about him, it comes true. There's an empty seat near the back. Oh, he'll be happy about that. He gets to sit right next to her. Yo, I can't believe you're here. I told you to wait in my bedroom. Aw, I thought you'd be... Hey. Sorry, it's just I can't believe you're real. Maybe I'm still dreaming. You're not. Don't worry. From now on, you won't be lonely. Wait, how did you even know where my school was? Well, you left your school books lying around, and I followed a group of girls this way. You know, you know everything there is to know about me, but I don't know anything about you. Oh, right. Um, I'm Jessica, but you can call me Jess. Nice to meet you, Jess. So, who do you normally have? Hello, sorry to interrupt. We just wanted to meet you. Oh, hi. Where are you from? Japan. No offense, but you don't look very Japanese. Well, that's because I'm like an anime character. Wow, Haru is so cool. Just like I dreamed him to be. He draws people in and makes friends instantly. Unlike me, Jessica is my best friend. How do you know each other? Uh, I- We're pen pals. We've met a few times when I'd come to visit England with my parents. And this year, I decided to visit for a week. I didn't know she talked to other people let alone have a friend. You know nothing about her, so back off. Oh, we love a protective friend. I really like how Haru is sticking up for her. This is probably the first time that Jessica hasn't felt alone. That brings me joy. Whoa, sorry, dude. She doesn't talk to anyone here. I didn't mean anything by it. Haru, it's okay. It's true. Well, that's a shame, because Jess is the coolest person I know. You haven't met anyone else since this morning. You should have lunch with us. Jessica can come too. All right, is that okay, Jess? Uh, yes. Wow, I never imagined having lunch with Stephanie. She's so cool. I don't think she's ever acknowledged my existence before. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny, Haru. Isn't he funny, Clara? You're such a shameless flirt, Steph. Oh, shut up. Do you have a girlfriend, Haruki? No. I haven't known a girl long enough to even think about it. Oh, that's a shame. You'd have plenty of options if you stayed here permanently. What do I say? I'm so uninteresting. Maybe I should just keep quiet. You know, I'm surprised Jessica hasn't dated anyone. I'm sure lots of guys would be interested in her. What? Really? I mean... No offense, Jessica, but most of the time, I forget you're in the classroom. You're basically invisible. Oh, Haruki is not having that. How dare they come for Jessica? How dare they? Apologize. Why? How would you like it if someone treated you like you were invisible? It's true, though. Let's go, Jess. What the heck? Haru is a weirdo. What's his obsession with Jessica anyway? There's nothing interesting about her. Someone's jealous. You shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't let people talk down on you like that. It doesn't matter. He is so true though. You shouldn't let anybody make you feel that way. If you ever feel uncomfortable or feel like somebody is repeatedly making you upset, you should leave that situation. It's not healthy. People don't talk to me anyway, so it doesn't happen regularly. Don't you have friends? No, it's fine, really. You don't need to worry about me. I'm more concerned about you right now. Why you're alive and if this is permanent, we'll figure something out after class. I still can't believe my OC is sitting right next to me. Does Granny know about the pencil? Gatcha crafts. 
Oh, she might be able to locate the star. And then she can ask the owner some questions about the pencil. I think I've seen that place in town. I have to find out about this pencil. Shall we go? Whoa, there's somewhere we have to go. Hey, where are we going? We are going to the store, boy. We're gonna find out where you came from. What is this place? Where my grandma bought me the magic pencil from. Welcome, here to buy art supplies for school? Actually, I'm here to ask about this pencil. Oh, I see, and this boy must be your work of art. You have talent. So, you know about this pencil? How it brought Haru to life? Indeed, but it only answers to those who are in desperate need of something. You are in desperate need for a boyfriend? No. Stop teasing her. Oh, and a protective one. I cannot tell you all of my secrets, but know this. The magic only lasts for one week, then your friend will revert back into a sketch. One week? I don't want to live for just one. Okay, thank you. Come again. He he was absolutely no help. He's just disappeared like magic. He, he just, did he just go inside the book? Yeah. I'm going crazy. I must be going crazy. Why is the book propped up with a Minecraft block as well? A grass block. It's just there on the desk. I don't understand. Hey, look at me. I've only got seven days here to be with you and I want to make the most of it. Let's go home. Okay, wait. How do I tell my parents? Just introduce me as your friend. Does this mean I can eat with your family? Oh man, food is so amazing. Uh, hi mum. Welcome back, Dal. Huh? Andrew! What? Yes, welcome back. Oh. This is, uh, my friend. Hi, I'm Haru. Nice to meet you. Sorry. That's okay. Would you like to stay for dinner, Haru? What? Yeah, mum is just punched dad. She's like, he can stay. Our daughter never has friends. This is a rare occasion. Let him stay. We're having mac and cheese. Sounds delicious. This is so good. Help yourself. There's more in the kitchen. So, Haru, you go to school with my daughter? Yes, I started today, actually. But I won't be here for long. I'm an exchange student for one week. I see. So... Where are you staying? Actually, I don't have a place yet. I haven't found one. You mean you didn't look for a place before you arrived? Something like that. Well, we do have a spare room. You're suggesting? You're more than welcome to stay with us. Really? Wow. Thank you so much. Well, that was easier than I expected. This is because of yesterday, isn't it? What? I pushed you to make friends and you've brought a random boy over. He isn't a random boy, dad. And you told me to make a friend. I meant a girlfriend or someone to talk to in class. I know you're 15 now, but you're too young for dating. We're not. I've only just met him today. Why do you always have to be disappointed in me? Jess. I'll go and talk to her. Jess? He's so controlling. Always telling me what I should and shouldn't do. He won't just leave me alone. Well, if I had a daughter who brought around a boy to stay for a week, I'd be a little concerned. It's because he cares. I know. But he just doesn't understand. He found it easy to make friends in school. So, you find it hard to make friends? I've always found it hard. I've always been the shy kid. Everyone else is confident and interesting. But when I have a chance to speak, I just freeze up. I feel like I'm not interesting enough or they'll dislike me. I'm suited to being alone. Well, I haven't met many people in my life yet, but you're just as interesting, if not more. You can draw, can't you? Well, it's just a hobby, but something to talk about. I couldn't talk about my drawings. They'd find my character drawings weird. You think I'm weird? No, no, but- Lots of people would find your art interesting. You've just got to meet the right people. Besides, I'm your friend, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness, their relationship is so cute. He is literally the perfect best friend for her. It's just unfortunate that he'll only be around for a week. And then will she never see him again? That's so sad. I have to help Jess make friends in the short time that I have left. That was the best fry up I've ever had. Your dad's cooking is the best. I can't believe he had three servings. Give it back, you stupid duck. Oh my goodness, he wasn't lying. Ducks are really stealing things from him. I thought it was a lame excuse, but no, it's real. Look, he's gone off with the homework. Haru's chasing the duck down. Oh my gosh. He just landed on the poor thing. What kind of duck is this? This doesn't belong to you, strange pond animal. Yeah, the duck doesn't care. He's like, bye. I tried to steal the homework. Now I'm gonna leave. I believe this is yours. Wow, you're so cool. I mean, thanks, dude. You don't know how much that duck has been terrorizing me. You're in our class, right? Yeah. 
I'm Peter. Hey, for saving my homework back there, let me treat you both for lunch. Sweet. Oh, you don't have to treat me. I didn't do anything. I don't mind. Wow, he's so generous. Good morning. There we go. He's got the homework. He can give it in. So you finally bothered to do your homework, Peter. I always do my homework. Sit down. Oh my goodness, Haru is making friends. Haru? Why is he with Melody? Hey Jess, mind if Melody sits with us for lunch? Not at all. Hi Jess. So, Haruki tells me that you can draw. Haruki? Sorry, Melody is in my art class. I'm looking for someone who can draw. So, are you good? Um, I'm not really that good at it, but I'm okay. She's amazing. Look at these sketches she did in class. What? Where did you get those? Whoa, these are pretty good. You have talent, Jess. Thanks. Would you be interested in designing the cover of an album I'm working on? I don't have much money, but I'll give you what I can. Um, that's okay. I mean, yes. I'll design a cover for you, but you don't have to give me anything. Really? I'll pay you back. I promise. Let me show you how I've envisioned it. Ooh, okay. Oh, he got her someone to appreciate her art. Can't deal with Haru. He's so sweet and clever. I got you these, as promised. Yay! Oh my goodness, she's got friends, guys. I promise to work on your album cover over the weekend, Melody. Oh, really? Thanks, Jess. Are you gonna let me come over and listen to your album yet? I said not yet. I'll let you know when I'm finished. I look forward to it, Shorty. Who are you calling Shorty, Shorty? Ouch. Well, have a good weekend, guys. See you Monday. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Those two are pretty cool. Don't you think, Jess? Yeah. Today was a lot of fun. Thanks to you. Nah, we all had fun together. So, are you gonna work on Melody's album cover over the weekend? Yes, I want to have it done for Monday. Oh, look at them bonding over the artwork. Oh my goodness, look at all of this food. This is making me hungry, so hungry. Why do Gatchas do this to me every time? Has she finished it? I think he loves it. And her dad is so happy that she's finally making friends. Oh my gosh, this is better than I imagined it to be. Thank you, Jess. I'm glad that you like it. Yo, what's going on? Hey, Peter, come look. Sure. Whoa, did you do that, Jessica? It's amazing. Ugh, double P-E. Music for me. See you guys at lunch. I'm so glad she liked it. I was so nervous. Are you kidding? Of course you would like it. These past few days have been amazing. Peter and Melody are so funny and kind. Haruki is who made it possible for me to come out of my shell. Even though he's just a drawing, I feel like we have something special. But he only has one day left. I don't want to say goodbye. Psst. Oh, that girl is so jealous. Calm down, girl. He's not yours. What is going on here? She's gone to the toilet. Gosh, that class is so boring. I hate English. Hey, did you see Jessica next to Haruki smiling throughout class. Creep me out. <gasps> she can hear everything. This is so awkward. I hate this. I cannot imagine being in the stall listening to people talking about me like that. I don't understand why Haru is so obsessed with someone like her. I bet Melody and Peter only hang out with her because of him. Soon, he'll be going back to Japan and she'll be all by herself again. Aww. Did they do that on purpose because they knew she'd be on the toilet? If so, that is a special kind of evil. Hey, Melody's invited us to her house tomorrow to listen to a new album. Do you want to go? What's the point? Jess, what's wrong? They're not my friends. I'm just going to be alone once you're gone. Of course they're your friends. I want to make sure that you're not lonely. No, I don't need anybody else. Jessica. Oh my goodness, no. This is terrible. And the girls, they're there again. Can't they just go away? Hey, Haru. Not right now. Oh, don't think about her. Come hang out with us instead. Not interested in hanging out with people like you. You're shallow and conceited. What? Hey, I'm sorry if I upset you. I'll see you at dinner. Shame you'll be leaving soon. Yeah, I wish I wasn't. I've had so much fun with Jess. I was under the impression that you both had a fight. She won't come to hang out with a few of her friends from school tomorrow. I don't think she realizes how amazing she is and that people want to be her friend. I owe you an apology, Haru. I've been a bit harsh on you. 
I'm very protective of my daughter and I don't want to see her hurt. I understand. I don't want her to be hurt either. I'm sure you can make her come around to the idea of hanging out with friends. I can tell she likes you a lot. Oh, your girl was listening through the door. Why is she always overhearing conversations about her? Jess, I want to go. Really? Yeah, that's it, Jess. Go over to her house, listen to her music, and maybe you've got another friend for life. Hey, guys. Yo, Haru. Oh, you decided to come, Jess. Thank you for inviting me. Let's go. Oh, and they even got snacks. A full pizza, muffins, a bento box. I'm so jealous. I had no idea how bubbly you were, Jess. Well, I don't open up to people easily. Hanging out with you guys this week has been the best. I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow, Haru. I wish I didn't have to go, but I'm happy knowing you guys will still hang out together right? Of course. I'm not letting my little artist get away that easily. Oh no, is it time for him to go? I don't want it to happen. I can't. Thank you for having me. This has been the most amazing experience. Come back and visit again, won't you? Safe travels, kid. See you later. Hey, Jess. Yeah, dad? I'm proud of you. Have a good day, sweetie. Thanks, dad. Bye. So, this is it, huh? Man, I don't do too well with goodbyes. It was nice meeting you, Haru. Thanks for the best week of my entire life, guys. Even if it has been my entire life. <laughs> he did say it and everyone's so confused. They're like, what do you mean you only live for a week? I hope we can meet again. Group hug. Oh, bless them all. So cute. See you, Haru. Safe travels, dude. See you guys. Jess, let's go up to the roof. I'd like to say goodbye in privacy. Jess, I... I don't want you to go. Because of you, I made real friends for the first time. I had the best week of my life. I'm scared it'll all go. Don't worry, Jess. You don't need me to be yourself. You'll be fine. Do you have the sketchbook? Oh, there it is. Thanks. Is he gonna return into the book? I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. It's time for him to go. I really didn't want this to happen. Wait! Oh my goodness, they are doing a kiss on the rooftop. Jess, sorry, I've just always wanted to do that. Well, you did make me irresistible. You're one of a kind, Jess. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. Keep sketching me, okay? I will. Oh, he's going into the book. Oh, that is so sad. I didn't want him to go. Oh, she's picking up the book now. But I'm just so glad that she managed to make friends. Hey, Jess. Let's go grab some lunch. Sure. Oh, and she's left the piece of paper with his sketch on. There he is. Oh, he's like alive inside of the paper. It's been a few months since Haruki came to life for a week. I look forward to going to school nearly every day to see Peter and Melody. Even life at home has improved. My dad is less nosy than he used to be. And life is great. I still miss Haruki though. It feels like a part of me is missing in a way. I still sketch him, but seeing him hurts. I tried bringing him back to life again with the magic pencil that my grandma gave me, but it doesn't work anymore. I've been returning to gacha crafts where my grandma originally bought the pencil to ask the mysterious man about it. How can I make Haru come back? Sorry, can't help. And he disappears again. <laughs> Last time he did that, it freaked me out. He literally disappeared into a book. This guy is magic and it's terrifying. Haruki saved me from a life of loneliness. I suppose I have to move on without him now, but part of me hopes that there must be a way to bring him back for good. Sup, Jess? Hey, guys. Still sketching away, I see. You can't me. Still drawing little doodles of your crush? What? No. Admit it. I've seen your drawings of Haruki. Oh, really? I don't. Girl has gone red. She literally looks like a lobster. Hiding your embarrassment is not working very well. I think they know the truth. You didn't know she had a crush on him? I only knew him for a few days. Guys, stop. Sorry, Jess. I'm only teasing. I still wonder how Haruki is doing in Japan. We should have asked for his Skype info before he left. Are you in contact with him, Jess? Um, well, I still haven't mustered up the courage to tell them the truth. I really don't know if they would believe it if you told them. Oh yes, I randomly drew him one day and he came to life out of the paper. Very believable story. They still think he's in Japan living a normal life. I should tell them the truth. Guys, 
There's something I need to tell you, but not here. Somewhere private. Is she actually going to do this? They might think she's crazy. Like, really, really crazy. I would think my friend was crazy if they told me that. Oh no, it's a bad idea. Wait a second, we have an eavesdropper listening in on the conversation. So, what did you want to tell us? She grabs the magic pencil. How is she going to prove that this works? It's Haruki. The thing is, Haru isn't real. He's a character I created using this pencil. It's hard to explain, but the man from the shop told us that the magic only lasts one week and- Whoa, whoa, Jess, slow down. Are you okay? We know you miss Haru, but I'm telling the truth. I know it's hard to believe. I didn't believe it at first. That's why I'm always sketching him, because I want him to come to life again. Do they just think she's gone insane? I think they are seriously concerned for their friend. She's talking about magic pencils that can bring drawings to life. And of course, we have somebody listening in. She can't be serious. I knew she was a weirdo, but this? A magic pencil? Okay, well, we are back at home. And spaghetti for dinner! It looks so good. So, how was school? Good. How's Melody and Peter doing? They're fine. You should invite them over again sometime. Sure. What's up, Pumpkin? It's nothing. Just... I miss Haru. Well, have you stayed in contact with him? I'm sure the boy has gachagram or whatever you kids use these days. No. I can't talk to him. You wouldn't believe me even if I tried explaining it to you anyway. Thanks for the food. Girl, you didn't even eat it. Teenagers, so dramatic. Remember what you were like at her age? When you were pining over me? I wasn't pining. Sure, dear. I hope Haru contacts her soon. It's such a shame he lives so far away. Oh my goodness, we are in class and the magic pencil is just out in the open, in a pocket. Somebody could steal it. Do you two want to hang out at mine again tonight? Sure. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry. Watch where you're going. What was that? We can't hear you from up here. You be. Ignore them, Melody. They're just butts. What's their problem recently? Ever since Jess started hanging out with us, they won't leave her alone. Wait a second. The magic pencil. I can't see it anymore. Has it been stolen? She pretended to trip and then she stole it, didn't she? I have a few ideas why, but it's fine. Let me just get my stuff together. Just because you're a wuss and you won't stand up to Stephanie, Peter. I'm not a wuss. Stephanie's just very intimidating and the pencil. Where did I put the pencil? What pencil? The magic pencil. The one that my grandma gave me. The one that... Oh no, I feel so bad for her. I really hope she can get this back. It's fine, Jess. We'll find the pencil. It's got to be in here somewhere. And then she took the skirt off me and told me I was grounded. I hate her so much. Stop dressing like that then. Clara, do you have paper I could borrow? Yeah, why? Um... I don't know, maybe to write on? Just give me some. Uh, all right. What a demanding friend. Seriously demanding. Hey, where are you going? I'll see you both later. She's going up to the rooftop. Is she going to draw with the pencil? Gosh, this is so stupid. There it is, she's got it. Thief. Why am I even listening to her? But it is weird that I can't find Haru on any social media. I'll just test it, just to see if it works. Okay, what is she gonna draw? A stick man. Is that really gonna work? Oh my goodness, it actually did. A real life stick man. That is low-key terrifying. And he's ran away and disappeared. It, it came to life. No way, it worked. I could draw Haruki. Better yet, a way hotter dude who could be my boyfriend. It can't be that hard. If only she knew how hard it is to draw. I've been drawing my entire life and I'm still tragic at it, so. Wow, that really is something. By something, I mean awful. There. Oh no, girl, that is just, oh, I, I can already tell this gacha character is gonna look super strange. Oh gosh. Okay, when I said he was gonna look strange, I didn't know he was gonna look that strange. I didn't mean to create you. You were supposed to be my new hot boyfriend. Ugh! She just threw the pencil and broke it. Oh my goodness. Haruki just came flying out of it. What is going on? How did that happen? Ugh, where? You. Have you seen my ship, lassie? What? I need to find my ship. Who the heck is that guy? That was strange. Oh my goodness. There are so many characters that have come to life now, including 
Rosie Closey. And is that Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy? Now the school rooftop is just full of these crazy gacha characters. This is a disaster. Have you seen a samurai? Are you a ninja? Indeed. Have you found the samurai? A samurai? There is a- I must find him and I must kill him. Who are all these people? Don't be alarmed, kitten. I'm here to protect you. Oh, she in love. Who are you? Oh my gosh. You're the one I was trying to draw. You're so hot. Thanks, baby. Can you please tell me what's going on? What is that? I'll protect you. I don't know either, okay? I tried to draw a hot guy like this, but... Wait, hold up. Why did you have the pencil? Uh... Well, you stole it, didn't you? You took it from Jess. Jess, is she here? Probably, most likely downstairs looking for a pencil with a weirdo friends. He is on a mission to find Jess. Shouldn't be too hard to do, right? She has to be in school still. There she is, trying to find the pencil still. Doesn't even look like she's moved. Haru just walks in. Haru? There he is, in real life. Haru? Hey. Oh, they're reunited. Isn't this sweet? I'm so happy for them. Haru, you're back. Oh, we have a flashback to when they were saying goodbye. Wait. Oh, yeah, and they kissed, didn't they? So cute. Jess. Sorry, I've just always wanted to do that. I can't believe I kissed him. Haruki, I can't believe it. When did you get back? Just now. Jess, something serious has happened. You need to come with me. Do you have the pencil? No, but I know who does. What's going on? I'd like to know the same. They're about to see all of the random gacha characters up on the roof. And of course, the broken pencil. Stephanie has my pencil. Who the heck is he? Um, I don't know who he is, but he is awful. Like really, really scary looking. What the heck is that? Oh, they're in the middle of fighting over me. I can't blame them. Just a shame they're not both hot guys. Stephanie, give Jess her pencil back. Whatever, doesn't work very well now anyway. Oh. No, super broken. It's cracked. What did you do to it? Well, it didn't work properly, so I just threw it a little. It did the trick though, because now I have my own hot boyfriend and you get to have Haruki back again. The crack in the pencil brought you back? Yeah, but it seems like it brought a lot more to life too. Could you please explain to us what's going on already? I'm a drawing. This pencil has the power to bring a drawing to life for a short period of time, but only when it deems necessary. Although there might be exceptions. Wait, so everything you said before, Jessica? It was all true? I'm not the only one who's been brought to life by this pencil. There were all sorts of people who came out with the pencil, including that guy over there. But where are they? Most of them ran off. I don't really know what's going on, but this doesn't feel the same as last time. Don't worry, Haru. We'll figure it out. Well, this is a lot to process. You talked about a guy in a shop, Jess. Would he know anything about this? That's it. We need to go back to Gacha Crafts. All right, it might also be a good idea to bring those guys with us. They are in the middle of a fight right now. I don't know if they're gonna come. If we have to, there he is, the magic seller guy. My, my, what a lot of students we have. You probably recognize us from last time. You see, the thing is, who created this? This masterpiece. This is the most beautiful creation I've seen by far. Keep it if you want. I have no need for it. Look, we need your help. I don't know if he's gonna help you guys. He's not been any help so far, so I really don't have hope. Some idiot broke the pencil, and now different characters have come into existence. Let me look. Oh, this is bad. The pencil has released all of the drawings that it's ever brought to life, and now the magic is escaping with it. Where are the other creations? They all ran off. Well, Sorry, kid, but you've broken it. I have no return policy. No, I need this pencil. I demand you tell me how to fix it. You have a secret feisty side to you. You've got to love that about her. It's a good trait of hers. If you want this pencil fixed, you're going to need to seal all of the creations back into the pencil. A few swipes of the rubber on the back should do the trick, but you don't have a lot of time. Pencil is not designed to have multiple beings to exist at once. What about Haru? If you want the pencil restored, 
He'll need to be erased like every other drawing. What do we do now? We need to fix the pencil as soon as possible. We don't know how much time we have. What day is it today? Friday. Great, that gives us the weekend to find them all. How about we all meet up here tomorrow morning? Have fun with that. You can count me out of it. Don't think you're not helping. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess. Let's leave these freaks, babe. Yeah. You're the only other person who knows what characters have escaped. We need your help, Stephanie. Please help us. That pencil is all we have to see Haru. Ah! Help. Fine. But this isn't because I like any of you. You've made your monster happy. He must like you. No idea why. This is going to be lame. Yeah. So lame. Hello, young lady. Oh my goodness, that is shooker. Hi, Mr. Peterson. Haruki? Well, this is a surprise. We were just talking about you yesterday. What brings you back? Well, uh, I... A surprise visit. Oh, how lovely. Have you come to stay over again? If that's all right, sorry to spring this on you again. Are you staying here for another week as an exchange student? No, actually, I won't be here for long. Probably just for the weekend. But you've come all this way from Japan. I know. I'm afraid I don't really have a choice. Well, I'm glad you come to visit as soon as you did. Jess has been talking about you a lot. What is with mothers always dropping you in embarrassing things? <laughs> like that. She just had to say that Jess was talking about him a lot, didn't she? Just adds to the embarrassment. Strange to be back here again. How have you been? Fine. I mean, life at school has been amazing. I think he's found all of the drawings that she's been doing. You're making me feel envious. I'm kidding. Sounds like you've been having a lot of fun. Yeah, I have. What is it? Nothing. It's just, I really missed you, Haru. I missed you too. Oh no, what was that? He's turning gray. Haru, what's happening? I'm becoming a sketch again. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine now. It must be the magic. We probably don't have a lot of time. We have to find all of the drawings in time. The pencil might be the only way that Haru can stay forever. There's got to be a way. Morning, peeps. About time. Now, where's Stephanie? Here she is. Oh my goodness, her outfit is adorable. Glad you could make it. This thing has been following me around everywhere. I want to get rid of it as soon as possible. I think it might be a good idea if we split up. Haru, Jess and I will go look in the town. Peter, you go with Stephanie and the other drawings. Why do I have to go with her? Because I said so. Sorry, Peter. Once you've found some, text us and we'll meet up and erase them. Sounds good? Drawings, here! Drawings. It would be nice if I could get some help. Can't believe I'm being dragged around for this. Yeah, me neither. You're the one who agreed to help for some reason. Well, I guess I felt bad. Lame. What in the world? There is a duck. And I think it's the same duck from the last episode. Oh no. Not you. And off it goes. It's so weird. What in the world? Quack. Did your creature just quack at the duck? Don't call it my creature. And the duck is gone. Maybe it knows where one of the drawings is. Wait a second. Is this not a spoiled brat character? Because it really looks like one. Bow in my presence, peasants. What's up with all of these drawings? Who would want a spoiled brat? Hey, you. The hot one. You're my new boyfriend. Excuse me, he's my boyfriend. What are you doing? What? She's hotter than you. Are you kidding me? Face it, loser. You're second best. Hey, Stephanie, calm down. You couldn't even find anybody hot to love you. That you had to draw someone. And you couldn't even do a good job of that. How sad. Oh my goodness, Stephanie is getting absolutely roasted. Don't listen to these idiots. Wait a second, the monster is just stomping on them. Well, that's not gonna solve anything, is it? Just causing more problems. Well, that's one way to capture them. Okay, so you saw two wizards on a broomstick and a ninja. Who else? Wait a second, who is that? They're speaking Japanese. Oh! It's the ninja. The ninja! Leave this to me, guys. At least my Japanese will come in useful this time. Hey, ninja, have you found him yet? The samurai. There is no samurai. You don't want to help me? Fine, I'll find him myself. Wait! I know where the samurai is. So, Haru's back. I bet you're happy. Of course, like everyone else. Have you thought about telling him how you feel? What do you mean? I bet you want to kiss him. Unless you've already done that. Aha! 
So you have. Shut up, Melody. Guys, I have the ninja. Jess, are you okay? You're red. I'm fine. Your girlfriend is cute. She's not my girlfriend. We're just friends. Liar. Shut up. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just get rid of him already. Okay, it's time to erase the ninja. And off he goes. All right. Let's get the rest of these drawings. Oh my goodness. The wizards are right here pointing their wands straight at them. And Rosie Closey's there too. And they've managed to capture the army guy too. Get your hands off me. A pirate takes what he wants, lassie. Stephanie, watch out. Oh my goodness, this man has a weapon and the monster has stood in the way. What's wrong with these bullets? Are you okay? You protected me. My hero! Uh, okay. I'll be over there texting the others to say we got the pirate. Don't worry, we're here to send you home. And she's being erased too. They're doing a seriously good job at capturing all of these characters. All right, that should be one of the last ones. Peter just texted me. They found the pirate. That should be the last one. Oh no, Haru, it's happening again. I'm not going to last much longer. Jess? Look at me. Everything is going to be fine. I don't want to lose you again. You never lost me. Come on, Jess. Let's go meet the others. We'll fix the pencil. I promise. Guys, sorry for making you wait. Uh, why is Stephanie holding hands with that thing? Oh my. Is she falling in love with her creation? Don't call him a thing. He saved my life. The gun isn't real. It wouldn't have killed you. Everybody's turning gray now. We need to seal them before it's too late. It's time for the pirate to say bye-bye. And finally, the monster. Wait. Oh my goodness. She's really just out here kissing him. I won't forget you. My hero. Goodbye, monster. Do I really have to say goodbye again? I'm sorry. We have no choice. Don't look so sad, guys. You never know. Maybe you'll need me again in the future. It was nice seeing you again, Haru. Shame it's so short-lived. We're gonna miss you, bud. Thanks, guys. Jess? I'll find a way, Haru. There's got to be a way. I think we both know I'm always going to be a drawing. I'm not supposed to be alive. I want you to live on happily without me, Jess. I will. Oh, look at them all. They're such good friends. If it's even possible to be friends with a drawing. Now she's just back to staring at a drawing of him again. She's not gonna stop thinking about him so easily. There has to be a way we can help. The only way we can cheer her up is if Haru could be brought back to life permanently, but that's impossible. So, let's make it possible. Convince that crazy dude in the shop to bring him to life. Is this really gonna work? Oh, the students from the other day. And how may I help you both? Well, the thing is- Listen here. Whoever you are, we need our friend back permanently. I don't care if you see him as just a drawing. He's not just a drawing to us. He deserves a chance to live. I've never experienced this much hassle with a drawing in my entire existence. Jessica! Guys? What are you doing this way? Looking for you. Come with us. Where to? What's going on? Do you have the pencil? You know, that pencil was not designed to be used with normal paper. Which is why its creations cannot last long. What do you mean normal paper? Well, a regular sketchbook cannot hold the magic of the pencil for very long. This, however, can. Looks like a normal book to me. This is no normal book. This book is capable of withholding the magic of the pencil. So? Why are you telling us this? Well, your friend told me how detrimental your friend is to you all. And I could use some help in the shop. You mean? I think it's only fair I give him a chance to live. Draw your friend in here. Well, I hope she can make exactly the same sketch as she did last time. Otherwise, he might come out looking a little bit different. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. I'm back? What's going on? I'm sure your friends can fill you in on that. So, how long am I back for? For as long as you want. You won't turn back into a sketch anymore. Really? I'm so glad that they've been reunited. This is amazing. And I didn't think it would happen, actually. Thank goodness for the magic paper. Get a room. Guys, you brought him back for me. Thank you so much. What are friends for? So, what's next? Hide me away in a bedroom? We need to get you enrolled at school. Thought you'd never suggest it. Oh, someone probably should have told you by now. You work here now. What? Jess! Haru, where have you been all day? Sorry, Mum. We had our hands tied. Well, you're just in time for some shepherd's pie. Actually, I have something important to tell you first. I've decided to stay in England permanently. What? It's pretty lonely back home. 
I feel at home here. Now I can be with my friends permanently. Oh, thank goodness! Don't tell me you want to move in with us. No, I've found a place in town where I can stay. Now we can finally welcome you into our family properly. What? Well, he'll have to get my blessing first. What are you both talking about? We need to capture this moment. Get the camera. Don't be shy. Stand closer together. Get your camera ready, dear. They're getting their first picture together. How cute. Oh, I love it. We've got big cheesy smiles. Hey, Jessica. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry for stealing your pencil. Drawing isn't as easy as I thought it was. You're pretty skilled. I'll give you that. Thanks, Stephanie. I still don't understand. If the pencil only brought to life something to help the other person, then why did her creature come to life? The way I see it, it's helped her change for the better. Who would have thunk? And here he is, it's Haru. Hey guys, what did I miss? What absolute squad goals, I love them all. And I can just tell that Jess and Haru are gonna have their best life together. A lot has happened these past couple of months. My OC came to life when I drew him with a magical pencil and he even helped me make amazing friends. Oh yeah, because she was super lonely until he came into her life. Although we had to say goodbye. I got to see him again when the pencil released him after being cracked. Thanks to the mysterious man at Gacha Crafts. Haruki can live without turning into a drawing again. Now I can have my best friend by my side forever. Oh, so cute. And I'm so glad that Rosie did a little recap there. It really helped jog my memory. It feels like a dream, but Haru's been acting strange recently. It's like he's been avoiding me. Oh, why would he avoid her? Hey guys, nearly late again, Haru. Usually I'm the one who barely makes first period on time. I can't help it. The old man has me working late shifts in the shop. It's exhausting. You shouldn't be working so much. You're a student now. I know. I don't mind so much. Oh, it's the school bell, which means only one thing. Time for boredom. I mean class. Well, time for double maths, Peter. I hate double maths on a Tuesday morning. Haru, wait! I hate double maths anytime. You forgot your English textbook yesterday. Silly me. Thanks, Jess. Oh, that was incredibly awkward. Well, see you guys at break time. Let's go, Jess. So, how's it going with you and Haru, hmm? What do you mean? You know, are you officially dating? I don't know. Aw, I thought you guys would have made it official by now. You were so lovey-dovey before. Melody, do you think Haru has been acting strange recently? Not that I've noticed, why? It just feels like he's been avoiding me recently. Maybe he doesn't like me anymore. Don't be silly, of course he does. Boys are just stupid. They don't realize how they make girls feel. He is probably just stressed out from working at the shop. Yeah, I just wish he'd let me help him. But he refuses if I try to visit him at the shop. Hmm, don't worry Jess. I'll get to the bottom of this for you. You don't have to do that. It's my mission to make sure my favorite real life ship becomes canon. Okay, how do people stay awake for two hours in this lesson? I want my bed. Hey, I didn't know that you liked to draw Stephanie. I don't. Don't be embarrassed about it. And all this time I thought you hated drawing. Ah! Pay attention. I don't hate it. It's something I do when I'm bored. May I see it? Okay. Oh, we're gonna get to see what Stephanie has drawn. Oh, wow. That really is something, isn't it? Oh, she's drawing pictures of the creature. It could do with a bit of work though. Oh yeah. The drawing that she did was of one of the creatures that spawned from the pencil. Remember when all the characters broke free, there was Harry Potter and everyone, it was crazy. You should ask Jess to help you with your drawing. Why would I do that? It's not like I'm serious about it or anything. Well, you seem like you're having fun. Jess would love to teach you. You should sit next to her in art class. Peter Anderson. One more word, Peter, and I will unleash the class pet onto you. Oh my gosh. That is a terrifying class pet. Understood. Yeah, I would not want that unleashed onto me, thank you. Scary, scary duck. Yo. Oh, hey, how was math? Don't ask. He's on pet duty for the next month. Oof. It's not funny. Uh, hey, Melody, can I talk to you for a sec? Of course. In private. Okay. Oh, talking in private, but what about? That's not very private, is it? It's literally just there. I wonder what he wants. Anyway, so, what's Haru and Melody talking about? 
Yeah, what are they talking about? They're laughing, they're smiling. What are they up to? Rue looks comfortable with her. What's this awful feeling? Uh, Jess. Ah! Are you okay? You were staring into space with a sad look on your face. Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, what were you saying? Stephanie's in your art class, right? Yeah, why? Just wondering. You should talk to her. I think you two have something in common. Why are you being so mysterious? What do we have in common? Not telling. What are you both giggling about? Peter's acting weird. Nothing new then. Where did Haru go? He's got football, so he's gone to get changed. He's really gotten himself busy these days, huh? Guess it must be nice for him now that he's alive permanently. Melody, what were you and Haru talking about? Oh, uh, nothing much, just homework he's behind on. Anyway, I better not be late for music class. I'll see you at lunchtime. Wow, seriously, that was the biggest lie ever told in the universe of Gacha. Like really, she could have said anything else, but she said they were talking about homework. That is just not believable at all. Not one bit. She's lying, isn't she? Oh no. Jess is so annoying. I know. I prefer hanging out with you, Melody. Oh, she's letting her demons get to her. She thinks her best friends are talking behind her back. And that's the worst feeling. No, I shouldn't think badly of them. They would never talk like that behind my back. Unless... Nah, I'm just kidding. I feel like Haru's planning something and planning something really nice. Ooh, is it time for art class? Stephanie sat next to me, but she usually sits at the back. What do I do? Maybe I should say hi? Um, hey. What? Nothing. I'll just keep to myself. Are you drawing? No. I didn't know that you like to draw. That's amazing. Don't worry. You don't have to show me. So, what do you like to draw? People, I guess. I only just started though. Really? I feel kind of envious. I remember the first time I wanted to learn to draw. Well, it's not serious or anything. Oh, sorry, I got a bit carried away. I got too excited and ended up talking too much. Jessica, since you can draw, could I get advice on this drawing? Oh, of course. It's my first attempt, so don't expect anything great. It's the creature from before. I guess she really got attached to him. What are you smiling about? Nothing. Um, it's a good start, but maybe I could help you with anatomy. Okay. Oh, look, they're getting along and she's teaching her how to draw. This is actually so sweet. First, draw a circle for the head. And then? And then they became drawing friends. So cute. Now their eyes look more aligned. We can even change the hair and the skin to be less. No, I mean, I don't want to change him that much. His hair and skin is fine. I think I understand how she feels. I wouldn't want to change anything about Haruki. You can change it a little bit if you want. No, sorry. It's not that. Then what's wrong? Nothing. Anyway, if you need any more help, let me know. Sure, thanks for the tips. No problem. Oh, that was a very fast class. It's so sweet that they're getting along though. Hey, Peter. Oh, hey, Jess. And Stephanie. Wait. Are you two friends now? I guess. I'm teaching Stephanie how to draw. That's great. Where's Melody? I think I saw her outside talking with Haru. Oh, Stephanie? I've been texting you. Why are you with the weirdos? Weirdos? Get off my case, Clara. I don't have to text you back every minute of the hour. You used to. What's up with you recently, huh? You wanna be an art freak now? Jess is not. Just leave them alone, would you? They've never done anything to us. Why are you suddenly on their side? It was only a few weeks ago you were calling them freaks too. Yeah, well, I got tired of it. Yeah? Well, I'm getting tired of you. You can forget about your birthday party at my house. Consider this friendship over. Oh, wow, that was pretty harsh. All she did was not reply to a single text. Damn, my friendships would all be over if that was the case. I forget to reply all the time. Stephanie. Oh, she's so sad. I would be so sad if my friends treated me that way, to be fair. Is this my fault? No, Jess. This is her own issue that they need to deal with. Hey, did you see Stephanie? She looked really upset. Did something happen? More or less. She had a falling out with Clara because she stuck up for me and Jess. She what? Maybe we should talk to Stephanie. I have class with her next. I'll make sure to talk to her. Thanks, Haru. We better go get lunch before the dessert's gone. Good point, let's go. Why do I have a feeling that Haru is going to make it official and actually ask Jess out? I feel like that's what he's planning. 
I want to ask Melody about what her and Haru have been doing, but I don't want to lose our friendship. Maybe I should just keep quiet about it. Hey, sup? Oh, hey Stephanie. I'm really sorry about earlier. It's okay, it was my fault anyway. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, so you guys fancy getting an ice cream in the park? Yeah, I'd love to, but I have to work. Again? I thought this was part-time work. It's gotten really busy recently. Next time, I promise. Well, I'd love to. How about you, Stephanie? You don't have to invite me just because you feel bad for me. That's not why. We want to hang out with you. Yes, come. We'd love your company. Plus, it wouldn't be the first time we've all hung out and had fun. Okay, if you insist. Well, you guys have fun. I'll see you tomorrow. I feel so bad for Haru. He can't come because he has to work. That sucks. Poor Haru. I hope he doesn't feel left out. I'm sure he has more important things to do. All right, shall we go? Let's go. Oh my, it's very busy in the park, isn't it? Oh, and there's Rosie Closy in the background. Look at her, just enjoying two ice pops. Wow, because, because one, one isn't, isn't enough. enough. It's your birthday soon. It's tomorrow. Oh, really? Happy early birthday. Have you asked for anything from your parents? Not really. They'll probably give me loads of gifts since they're rich. How nice. But I'd rather them actually spend time with me. They're always at work, so I never see them. Oh, she must be really lonely. Maybe she feels how I felt before I made friends. Maybe we could do something together tomorrow. If you'd like. I'd like that. Oh, birthday friends. Wish Haru was with us. Feels like before, without him here. It feels like he's fading away again. Oh dear, that ice cream is melting. Ugh, Jess, are you okay? Your ice cream is dripping down your hand. Nothing, it's just... Oh, she ate that in one bite. Okay, that was extreme. The entire cone and everything in one bite. To be honest, that was pretty impressive. He never hangs out with us anymore. She's exploded. I know the mysterious man said he needed someone to help him out at the shop, but he's just busy at the shop, Jess. I'm sure he's not doing it intentionally. Does he not like me anymore? Jess, don't be silly. Is that what you've both been talking about? How he's bored of me and he prefers you? I've seen you both today, sneaking off to whisper about things behind our backs. Jess, it's not what you think. Then what is it? Look, I can't tell you. He asked me to keep it a secret, but I promise. Hey, where are you going? to talk to Haru. Oh no, Jess is mad. Like, really mad. Why is it every time I hang out with you guys, something dramatic happens? I wish I knew. Poor Stephanie. She just wanted a nice relaxing time. And all she got was drama. Time to have a go at the mysterious man. Um, good afternoon, Jessica. Where's Haru? I thought he was here working. Ah, uh, right, yes, he's working. But he's out on an errand right now, so. Oh. What the heck, he just flew out of a book. I wasn't expecting that. All right, I think everything is re- Jess? Welp, I tried. What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you. What were you doing in the book? Um, well, work. Jess, what's wrong? Why won't you be honest with me? I don't understand you at all. You've been avoiding me all week and talking to Melody behind my back. It's like you don't want me around anymore. Just tell me the truth. Are you bored of me? Jess, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel that way. Of course I'm not bored of you. I meant to keep this a secret until the weekend, but I should probably tell you. Or I suppose, show you. Show me what? Do you trust me? Are they both going to go inside of the book? Oh wow, they really are. Oh my goodness, this place is beautiful. <gasps> a shooting star. Surprise. What is this place? It's a magical garden. I designed it myself. Do you like it? Like it? I... Wait, you designed this? This is what I've been working on for the past week. So you haven't been working? Then what have you been talking about with Melody? Well, I've never taken a girl on a date before and I wanted to make it special, so I asked her for advice. A date? Sorry, am I being too forward? No, keep it together, Jessica. Would you like to look around? Yes, great. Oh my goodness, guys, this is actually so romantic and sweet. And there's Ron and Hermione for some reason. We love that. There are other drawings in here. Yeah, they all live in here. And this is only one page. Cool, right? Wow. I kind of wish I was a drawing. Oh no, girl, you really don't. 
We spent the entire first two episodes trying to make Haru real. Jess, I'm really sorry that I made you feel like I was avoiding you. I've never been so nervous before, and I didn't know how to act normal around you. Hey, why are you laughing? Sorry, it's just sweet. I didn't know you could get nervous. You're the one who created me. Surely you'd know that. Maybe you're becoming your own person. Maybe. Jess, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah? I really like you. A lot. We've been through so much together, and I love spending time with you. If you feel the same, would you like to maybe... be my girlfriend? Oh my gosh, she has literally passed away. And also, what a weird scenario. She made a person out of a drawing and now they're dating. What? Jess, are you alright? Are you okay? I'm okay. So, yes, I'll be your girlfriend. Oh my, this is so sweet. And it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Man, I'm glad the old man could do me this as a favour. Do you think that we could ask for another favour from the mysterious man? What for? I think she's asking for the creature to be remade. You know, for Stephanie. Yeah, it has to be. We've gone straight to Stephanie. Oh, there's a note. Stephanie, meet me on the roof after school from Jess. How very mysterious. I wonder what she's up to. Surprise! Happy birthday! Guys, thank you! But why are we on the roof? For your birthday gift. A very special gift indeed. This is for you. Thanks. Oh wait, what is it? You bought me a book? Thanks. It's not just any book. It's a magic book. I turned 15, not 10. Do you have the pencil, Jess? Yep. Stephanie, would you like to see your drawing again? You mean... We can draw him again. Together. Oh, she does. I'll help with the anatomy and you do the rest, yeah? Okay. Alright, it's time. She's doing the final details. And... Just like that. He's back, but he looks a little bit different this time. Well, it's definitely an improvement. Hello? You can talk? I can talk. Oh, he's weird looking, but he's also really cute. Jess, you brought back my hero for me. Thank you. This is the best birthday I've ever had. So, does he have a name? Other than my hero? I don't know. Do you have a name you'd like? Hmm... I want to be called anything you want to call me. How about Hiro? With an I. A Japanese name like mine. It's similar sounding to Hiro. I like that. Hiro. So, Hiro and Stephanie, would you like to come around to mine, eat lots of junk food and watch Gatchatube videos? I don't know what those are, but it sounds fun. Okay. Well, I better return this book to the old man first. He'd kill me if I lost it. I love how it's just tossed on the ground. Don't think the old man would be impressed with that, would he? Welcome to Gacha Crafts. Can I help you find anything, sir? Yes, actually, I'm looking for a gift for my son. We've just moved into town and he's a bit lonely, so I want to give him a gift to cheer him up. I see. Does he have any hobbies? A few. He likes to draw. Maybe you have something artsy? I think I just have the thing. Oh no. The magical pencil. So that was the main part of the story and now we get a wedding scene. I am so ready for this. Oh my goodness. Look how cute Jessica is. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Aww, so cute. Yes. Adorable. Parents are crying and clapping and all the friends are here to celebrate. So, so cute. And guys, that is where this gacha has ended. I really hope you did enjoy it and I hope that you liked the fact that I finally got around to reading it. Remember to leave a like if you did and if you want to watch another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.